welcome to all once again uh, we are now beginning to that uh, going to begin the next module that is taxonomic literature so we now studied the classification systems nomenclature everything now we are going to study how to identify a plant in order to identify there are particular books monographs flora herbaria botanical garden etc so many are there but from one among important among them is flora so flora is actually a book a published work where systematic arrangement of species in the given area is given it includes the description key to identify the particular plant sometimes diagram sometimes photographs or illustration everything so that is a flora so a particular region or a locality or a country having a flora one example is flora of kannu district hmm? flora of presidency of madras flora of patanadetta etc by the use of which flora student can easily identify a plant its characteristic features and everything so this is an example of flora flora of presidency of madras by j s campbell this is there in available in three volume volume 1 2 and 3 this is available in our library also this is a flora published by q botanical garden in any flora plants are arranged according to a particular system of classification okay and it includes plant names their author citation references source of original publication everything accompanied in a flora so anyone who engaged in taxonomic work is uh, you have to identify plants then you have to depend on what the flora of the particular area okay so it's very important for a traveler also so now second important taxonomic literature is herbarium okay so in order to identification you have to depend on flora or you have to depend on herbarium what do you mean by herbarium it is a storehouse of plant specimens collected from far and wide for example Uh, now nearby herbaria is what calicut university herbaria so in calicut university herbaria plants of almost all families and available from almost all states then other countries etc are available so it is arranged according to scientific principles now you are going to prepare your own herbaria so after your examination you can deposit this herbaria in the sir said college herbaria okay so uh, that's a actually a storehouse of plant specimens arranged according to a known system of classification that is arranged in cupboards so i just go back to the history luca gini an Ital uh, uh, an italian botanist is the initiator of the herbarium in see the a year hmm, very long years back he started linnaeus started practice of mounting in single sheets of paper but modern herbaria are uh, actually modern herbaria are based on linnaeus herbarium in single sheets of papers and herbaria and documentation is very important nowadays modern herbarium are the documentation centers that containing specimens of new taxa plants of economic importance all endangered species everything so it is very important part of taxonomy or systematics hmm? so how you now you are we are going to study how we can prepare a herbaria what is the role of herbaria everything so this is luca gini who initiated the art of herbarium making by pressing and sewing specimens hmm? in sheets of paper okay so this system is spread all over in europe and students started to mount uh, herbaria in sheets around their books okay now so uh, herbaria contains millions of specimens accumulated over a period of time it is a growing source of information about the vegetation and flora of the area this is how herbaria arranged this is the cupboard having different cases hmm? and in each case uh, a particular family so for example a family anonaceae all the plants coming under this anonaceae is kept under this this case and plants of anonaceae available from all over the world is arranged like this this herbaria okay this is a picture of q uh, herbarium in calicut university okay now see a close view ranunculaceae is a family its herbarium sheets magnolaceae is the family its herbarium sheets nymphaceae its herbarium sheets likewise all families and its herbarium 
sheets are arranged here in this cupboard. This is this system is known as herbaria. Okay. Now, world's largest herbarium is at Royal Botanical Garden, Q in England. That's the largest herbarium. It contains about five million herbariums. Okay. Indian herbarium, while considering biggest Indian herbarium is Botanical Survey of India, Kolkata. That holding about one point three million specimens. That is established in eighteen thirty two. Now we are moving to importance of herbarium. So what is importance of herbarium? Now I think you got an idea. Hmm? So it provide everything regarding a particular plant, the flora and vegetation of a region, then correct identification of the taxa. Specimen collected from different regions give us morphological variations, adaptations, everything. It is an important tool for research and teaching botany at all levels. Okay. You think now one plant is with you, so you want to identify it. Now you referred the flora, so you again confusion. So now you have to visit a herbarium where you can take the plant, the herbarium of the particular plant, compare it, match it. If it is the same, then you can conclude it. Clear. Material for developing strategy for conservation and also help to solve the queries of scientists, public, and undergraduates, etc. Then monographs of genera of family are prepared by herbarium specimen. What is monograph? All everything regarding a particular genera. So, for example, one example, uh, Lucas. Lucas having different species. Lucas aspera, one among them, and many other species are there. So, in order to prepare everything regarding Lucas, you have to check herbarium specimens. Okay, and also region or location and its important plants are available to herbarium. The list of endangered species are also available through herbaria. Okay, now important herbaria of the world. Look, first one Royal Botanical Garden Q, then V L Komarov Botanical Institute Russia, Museum National de History Naturali Laboratory. This is Latinized language in Paris. Conservatoire at Jardin Botanic in Switzerland, New York Botanic Garden, U S National Museum. Vienna Botanischer Garden, National History Museum, Royal Botanical Garden UK, Missouri Botanical Garden. This is one famous one. The National Herbarium. These are some world famous herbaria. Okay. Now, uh, some examples. Museum of Natural History Paris contains six point five million herbaria. Royal Botanical Garden over five million. Then Komarov Botanical Institute over five million. Let us see some uh, calculations. How many herbaria are Uh, there in each botanical garden then in india the major herbaria include central national herbarium calcutta forest research institute dehradun botanical survey of india uh, southern circle uh, then blatter herbarium st xavier's college bombay botanical survey of india eastern circle southern circle western circle and northern circle okay and also industrial section then these are some famous herbaria of india then botanical collections why we are going to collect plants and making herbaria mainly for building new herbaria then for writing flora then introduction in garden for a gene bank then analysis of particular genus preparing drugs etc for these purposes we are usually have botanical collections then field work uh, collection trip is there then exploration collection of plant materials collection of special groups of plants these are all part of our studies okay now how you can process a plant specimen for herbarium how you will prepare a herbarium there are mainly two techniques two methods one is wet method and another one is dry method so wet method is as such we are collecting and preserving in wet condition itself its advantages are it saves labor and time daily changing and pressing is not required It is saves from carrying large amount of blotters and press in the field. No need. Collection brought by this method need not be poisoned again. Means in order to remove insects etc. No need to poison this. Then uh, formation of abscission layer is also prevented. It's a very simple technique wet method. See processing of herbarium specimen. Some steps. Collecting, collecting in paper bags etc. Then spreading it. Uh, then uh, mounting it had been under weight then herbarium sheets etc then dry way method this is most commonly adopting that we are usually doing 
ഇൻറ്റൻസീവ് ലേബർ ഓറിയൻറ്റഡ് ബട്ട് ഗീവ് മോർ ഗുഡ് റിസൾട്ട് ഓക്കെ മെർക്കുറി ക്ലോറൈഡ് യു ക്യാൻ യു യൂസ് സാച്ചുറേറ്റഡ് ആൽക്കോൾ യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ഇൻ ഓർ ടു പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റ് ഫ്രം ഇൻസെക്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് പെസ്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ് റിക്വയർഡ് ലെസ് ഫ്യൂമിഗേഷൻ ഫ്രം മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് പോയിൻ്റ് ഓഫ് വ്യൂ സോ വാട്ട് ആർ ദി സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഫിക്സിങ് ആൻഡ് പ്രിസർവേഷൻ ഓഫ് സ്പെസിമെൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ദൻ പ്രോസസ്സിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഡ്രൈവിങ് ഹാവ് ടു ഡ്രൈ ഇറ്റ് ദെൻ മൗണ്ടിങ് ലാബിലിങ് ആൻഡ് ഫയലിങ് സോ ഫിക്സിങ് ആൻഡ് പ്രിസർവേഷൻ ഐ ടോൾഡ് ഫസ്റ്റ് യു ജസ്റ്റ് ഗോ ഇൻ ടു ദ ഫീൽഡ് യു കളക്ട് സ്പെസിമെൻസ് ദെൻ യു ഹാവ് ടു റിമൂവ് ഓൾ വേസ്റ്റ് മെറ്റീരിയൽസ് എവറി തിങ് ഫ്രം ഇറ്റ് ക്ലീൻ ഇറ്റ് ദെൻ ആഡ് സം ആൽക്കഹോൾ ഓർ സംതിങ് ലൈക്ക് ടു പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റ് ഫ്രം ഇൻസെക്ട്സ് ദെൻ പ്രോസസ്സിങ് ആൻഡ് ഡ്രൈവിങ് അണ്ടർ വെയ്റ്റ് ഓർ പ്രസ് യു കീപ്പ് ഇറ്റ് ദെൻ എവറി ഡേ യു ഹാവ് ടു ചേഞ്ച് പേപ്പേഴ്സ് ദെൻ മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഡ്രൈ ദെൻ മൗണ്ടിങ് മൗണ്ടിങ് ഈസ് ഓൺ ദ കാർഡ് ഷീറ്റ് ഓഫ് പേപ്പർ മൗണ്ട് ദെൻ ദ യൂഷൽ ഗം മിക്സ് വിത്ത് വാട്ടർ ഡൈല്യൂട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് പേസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ദെൻ ലാബിലിങ് ഇഫ് എനി പാർട്ട് യു ക്യാൻ എക്സ്ട്രാ ഫ്രൂട്ട്സ് ഫ്ലവേഴ്സ് എക്സ്ട്രാ യു ക്യാൻ ലാബൽ ദെൻ ഫയലിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അ സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഓഫ് പ്രിപ്പയറിങ് ഹെർബേറി ഓക്കെ നൗ കളക്ഷൻ മെത്തേഡ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദി റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റ്സ് ഫോർ കളക്ടിങ് so first before you are going to a place one example madai para if you are choosing before going you have to collect the information about the space of madai para where it is located what is the climate what is the soil everything you collect altitude latitude etc now you plan your trip arrangements the travel everything you plan uh, the morning early morning is a good time for collection then you have to take necessary equipments and implements for plan collection some important equipments and implements are vascula this is a uh, item prepared from uh, the case of a tin or aluminum with a tight lid mm, used for keeping plants immediately after collection is good method vascula now instead of vascula you can use polythene bags then for cutting cutter knife etc then another important one is field notebook mm. Uh, what you are observing about a particular plan you have noted down in your field notebook external morphology color of the plant size of the plant mm? then uh, about the association what are the other plants nearby mm? then about the color of the flower shape of the leaves everything what you are observing with your naked eye you can mark it in the field book then put a number also then camera for taking photographs bag for carrying field shoe when you are going to wet areas pocket lens some flowers very small you can look by using a lens then old newspapers for putting into the plants as such then what is a vascula i already discussed then size of the sheet after everything collection drying and you have to paste it in a herbarium sheet the standard size of the sheet is 28 into 42 cm that is a standard size of the herbarium sheet clear okay. see these are the steps this is the vascula see vasculum is having a uh, uh, hanging um, thread you can hang in your shoulders then this an opening a lid the open and keep the plant inside just to close it okay this is the method of pressing a two uh, wooden sheets one upper one down then in between you are keeping your papers with the plants then tightly bind it with uh, firm it with uh, Uh, any of uh, cotton or a jute or any thread you can twine you can use for um, uh, tightening that upper side and lower side tightly together tightly packed this is another system you can u- use belt so two cardboard sheets one up one down cardboard or wooden sheet keep your plants inside then uh, tight it with the belt so this any two method you can adopt then after drying or one or two weeks so then you can transplant them by using forceps that's very good then keep it in your herbarium sheet apply glue then paste it finally it look like this then in the herbarium sheet here there is a column you can write everything regarding the particular plant name of uh, name of the plant the scientific name common name if there are any right locality from where you collected name of the collector who collected the plant collected the plant date of collection description some brief description anybody who are uh, taking this herbarium for reference they have to know what are the typical features of the plant that you can write here that's all about the herbarium preparation okay so this is a vasculum this is a press and this is a way of pasting and this is a final sheet i hope you understood well okay now how can you manage the herbarium sheet in your shelf after keeping a long time 
some insects may uh, come and eat your plants. Mm? So there will be loss. So you can manage by applying methyl bromide, carbon disulfide, carbon tetrachloride, para dichlorobenzene. These are all uh, required when in the large scale herbarium preparation in the um, colleges and herbaria centers etc. Okay, you can put the cotton with the simple, you know, our spray, hmm, cosmetic spray. You just apply it in the cotton and keep it in there. That's enough for you. So, this is the herbarium sheets prepared. Uh, old herbarium sheets at the time of Linnaeus. Okay, sheets preparing in Q Botanical Garden. Then uh, now we are moving to Botanical Garden. So, before that, I am, I am stopping here uh, about the herbaria. So, what you studied today, herbaria, what are the importance of flora, what is herbaria, how, what are the steps to, for collection of plants, how can you prepare herbarium sheets, what is the role of herbaria, uh, etc. You studied. So, I hope you enjoyed well and this is very important. This is also a practical session for you. You have to prepare your herbarium sheets like this. Okay. Uh, so, thank you very much.